Hey there, this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Aeolian scale again. We've, I've talked about it before, but I love it, and um, and I'm going to I'm going to show you what it is again. But also, I'm also going to do a little. Um, I'm going to show you how it can sound over how other guitars, you know, or other instruments. I've recorded a little loop of a of a guitar progression I just made. I just made up and it sounds really cool, but I'll show you how the, the Aeolian scale can sound. So the Aeolian scale, we'll do the A for now, is just this. And all that is, is I'm just going to go through this quickly, on the, on the low E string, okay, and you're, it's alternate picking, so you're going to do the 5th fret, the 7th fret, the 8th fret. On the A string, so on the A string you're going to do the same thing, 5th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret. On the D string, you're going to do 5 and 7, 5th and 7th fret. On the G string, you're going to do 4, 5, and uh, 7. On the B string, you're going to do 4, 5, and 8. Wait, 4, 5, no, I'm sorry, 5, 6, and 8. Yeah, so on the B string, it's 5, 6, and 8. And then on the high E, it's going to be 5, 7, and 8, just like you did in the, the low E. So the cool thing is that that... that the 5, 7, and 8, you're going to do that on the, at least uh, on three strings. So that's easy to remember on the low E, the A, and the high E. And so it's um, so 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 4, 5, 7. And then 4 on the B string, it's 4, 5, I'm sorry, it's, it's 5, 7, I'm sorry, again, on the, the B it's 5, 6, 8, and the high E it's 5, 7, 8. And so it sounds like this, again, alternate picking, start start from by picking down, and then alternate pick. And that's what the A aeolian, so the aeolian scale on the A. So we're, on the song I made, we're gonna, I'm going to do it in the D. So all you do, okay, you, you, you memorize the pattern. You know, that's how you do it in different keys. You memorize that pattern. You look, look at how it looks. You're not memorizing, necess you're not mes ne necessarily memorizing where you start from, like, like I just taught you, but you're memorizing the pattern. And it's very, very important to memorize the pattern. Look at the pattern. Get get used to the pattern. Get used. To, get your fingers used to it. You know, get a metronome and play it slow, slow enough where you can get it even, and then speed it up. And uh, but eventually, your your fingers, your muscle memory will kick in, and you you want to get that pattern in your head. And so you practice it on the A, but you also like go to, go down, go to the um, the D, for example. You just, you start from the D, the key of D, and then do the exact same pattern. Again, the Aeolian scale. There's lots. There's other modes that are helpful as well. But for now, you know that's what we're looking at. And then you know there's all kinds of little you know licks you can do. But I want, I'm going to go ahead and show you how it, how cool it can sound. Here's the lick of the, the guitar progression I recorded earlier.
say that's I mean, isn't that cool? It's like it's really it's really beautiful and it sounds really good in acoustic as well. I can show you that real quick too. Use the same scale on acoustic. of notes on the, the the Aeolian scale. Like on this one I'm going I'm doing them in threes. One, two, three, and then I go up one, one, two, three. I like them doing fours actually. One, two, three, four. And then I go so I do I do them in sets of four and I go and I progress through the scale starting at the at the next note. So one, two, three, four, progress to the next note. One two three four, and then I go to the and then I start with the one two three four pattern on the next note of the Aeolian scale. So, and then one two three four, and then I go up one more fret, one more fret, or one more, the next sequence of notes, the next note in the sequence of the Aeolian scale, and I go four from there. And I alternate pick, by the way. And then I go to the next one, and on and on and on all the way through the whole thing. backwards the same way one two three four these go down you, you get let the note you start from the note going down in the progression of the alien scale one, two, three, four. that's just an example you can do you can do three. three yeah there's all kinds of things but it's all in that alien scale now there's other modes that I can, I can, I can also use but right now it's, it's just amazing how powerful that is so that is this lesson, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more um, of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And, and then also, if you, want to see if you want to get a notification every time I upload a new video, hit the little bell thing, because I do plan on doing at least one guitar lesson a week, and so that will give you at least one guitar lesson a week in your mailbox. But if you don't want, don't want to learn guitar, you can also just listen to some of my songs, and I do, I do more than just guitar lessons. But anyway.